Section 14 of Christmas Roses by Lizzie Lawson and Robert Ellis Mack. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. The Story of the Book Fairy. Shall I sing you a song, not short and not long, of a storybook fairy who hides all among the covers and leaves of your pictures and prints, and colours them all with such beautiful tints? First he kisses the girls with the fairest curls, then they blush like red roses, and each head whirls, in each little eye drops a bit of blue sky, and colours each frock with a wonderful dye. His breathing, I ween, is a wonderful sheen, that clothes trees and meadows with loveliest green. The buttercups bold, it need hardly be told, are gilded by him with the finest gold. It is he, I suppose, who paints the red rose, and the rest of the flowers, which every one knows, and the same red will do, or a similar hue, for Robin, or Little Red Riding Hood too. He's awake, it is said, when you are abed, for the picture-book doggies and cats must be fed, and the picture-book children some stories he'll tell, and sometimes he'll read them their verses as well. The moment you open your picture-book he is away, out of sight, as quick as can be, for fairy law says that a fairy must die the instant he's seen by one human eye. End of section 14